On today's lesson, we're going to talk about setting up a product for sale using WooCommerce on the modernized theme. And so right now we have some products set up. We're going to just to show you. Click on accessories. We have a product here. And basically we're going to create a, be creating a page just like this. Click Add to Cart so you can see what the shopping cart looks like. Click View Cart. And right now we have one product. We have uh, the options for different shipping. So the person will choose the different shipping. We'll remove free shipping as an option to get rid of that. Proceed to checkout. They fill in their information. And then the way that they're going to pay is with PayPal. Okay, so basically that's what we're going to do. And how we can do this is go to dashboard of your WordPress site for your modernized theme. You should have WooCommerce already installed. If you don't, then you can install it. In this particular website, it's installed already. But for future ones, now you know. Click Add a Product. What we're going to do is add a ductile iron beam. Uh, what is this? Ductile iron beam swing hanger. Okay. So we just copy this. Paste this here. Don't put any descriptions in here or any information in there. All that's going to come later. We're going to put the price. The price is $11. You can have a sale if you want. You can schedule the sale from certain days to certain days. So if you want it on the 15th through the 17th, so Friday through Monday, you can collect that, select that, just select your first date, and then go up here and select the last date. Okay. In this case, we're not going to put a sale item on this. And what we're going to do is enter the short description here. For this purpose, we're going to just copy this information. However, this is not panda friendly. So Google has a program called Panda. If you copy the words word for word from another site, Panda will pick that up and kill your search engine. You know, uh, kill it as far as being able to find it on search engine stuff. Okay, so make sure that you rewrite any of this stuff right here on every page. On well, not on every page, but every product that you set. We're going to set an image right now. Set featured image. Now I've already uploaded it, but if I didn't upload it, I'd click upload and select the file from my computer. Okay. In this case, it's already selected. You just click on it one time and then it will you'll be able to set, set featured image once it uploads. And in this case, we've already got it in the media gallery. Okay. So I'm just going to select that item. Set featured image. Now you can see that the image is there and we're going to put it in a category. There's all kinds of different categories here. So we're going to choose it in accessories. So it shows up under accessories. Just leave it, leave product data alone. You can set how much inventory you have in stock, shipping information. There's special shipping information for this. No shipping class. You can set up classes. I'll, I'll talk about all that in a minute. And that's basically it. Uh, linked products. Let's see. Okay, so we've got um, upsells. You can have other products that you can upsell with it. And it looks like these products are, um, you know, choosable. So if you choose a specific product that you could, is a better product, you can set that up here. Cross sells if there's products which you can promote in your product based on the current product. So, you know, right now we just have the the ductile iron beam swing hanger, but we might be able to sell chains with it as well. Okay, so that'd be something that you can uh, put in here as well. There is, if this is a part of groups like with all the nuts and, you know, everything like that with the chains, if it was all part of a group, you can select if it's a part of the group. Okay. 
you can create groups, which we're not doing right now. Okay, here's our reviews. So you can enable the reviews as well. So after a person purchases, they can uh, place a review in as well. Okay, you can turn that off for specific products. And I believe you can turn it on or off for the whole, whole system as well. So go ahead and click publish. You can view this product, see if there's any errors or anything that needs to be changed. See right here, the title, the amount, uh, the quick overview talks about the product a little bit, and then you can click add to cart. Uh, there's related products as well. Here's the seat belts that show up, the belts that you actually sit on. You can click add to cart and go from there. Okay, so let's talk about shipping for a little bit. I'm going to go into WooCommerce and we're going to talk about shipping classes. If you click on uh, settings, it's going to give you catalogs, pages, inventory, tax, shipping, payment gateways, email, uh, emails integration, everything. Okay. So let's see here what it says for emails. All right. Right now it's set to info at designerwebsites.com which is mine. So we're going to change that to the owners. Okay, and by the way, if you have any questions, um, you know, you can send me an email at info at designerwebsites.co and uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Okay, so that's that. Click Save Changes. I'm going to go to uh, Shipping. Make sure that save changes goes through. All right, now we'll go to shipping. Okay, so here's where we do we choose different things. So there's free shipping, uh, flat rate, international, local deliveries, local pickups. Right now it has enabled uh, for ship free shipping, meaning that's an option. We don't want that. Okay. So we're just going to unenable it and then click save changes. And for international deliveries, say we're sending to China or something like that, obviously it's going to be much more expensive. So we'll just put uh, 1995. Yeah. And by the way, just so you guys know, psychologically, 1995 is much cheaper than $20. Uh, there's been many, many studies that say end, ending things in uh, 99 cents or 95 cents, the numeric number before always does better than the actual number of $20. Okay. So let's go back to, so let's go ahead and click save changes. You can uh, select different countries or exclude selected countries and so forth. Okay. And then just type in the Oh, excuse me. Pick the, select the countries here. Okay, so we're just going to leave that blank right now. Flat rate. Go to flat rate, and we can see that this is enabled. Now you can select this for different things. Okay, all allowed countries. We're going to pick specific countries. We we'll go to United States. Okay, and uh, you'll probably pick some other countries that we deliver to uh, on the U.S. government postal code. Uh, check with UPS and, you know, uh, FedEx to make sure that there's not any specific limitations for any of these deliveries, okay, before you choose which countries you want them to deliver to. Taxable, yes. Taxable, no. Uh, let's see. The shipping is not taxable. Cost per order. Right now, we're just going to say five ninety nine. Okay, five ninety nine per item. Okay, per order. Uh, you can also do per item charge. Charge shipping for each item individually. So if they order, you know, a belt and it's coming from one manufacturer, and they order chains and it's coming from another manufacturer, you can set up individual shipping costs per each item. Okay. Okay, so that, go ahead and click Save Changes. Uh, 
And then you can go through here and see all the different settings and stuff like that. Play around. You can change the dollar amounts uh, or the currency that you're using. Site-wide store notifications. So uh, we don't need that. Enable the use of coupons. If they have specific coupons. Now, I haven't set that up on any products. So let me see what it says here. Put to Dr. Lyron. Although it's going to show my old shopping cart, so that's not good. Okay. Just delete this down, delete this out. Update cart. Shows the new flat rate of $5.99 per item. Click proceed to checkout. Here's your coupon. If you didn't see that before, you can have promo coupons. You just give them a coupon code, create a coupon code. That's basically it for setting up. You can set up your tax information here. Right now, I have it set up for uh, Michigan. Enable taxes and tax calculations. Price entered with tax. So I like prices inclusive of tax. Exclusive of tax, that's my shipping address. Uh, it shouldn't be based on customer shipping address. It should be based on the shop base address. So if we're in Michigan and somebody orders it in Florida, you can set that up. So it charges tax for our area, not the person's area. Based on card items, yes. Around tax and sub flow. You don't really want to mess with that. All right, so that's basically how to set everything up and uh, how to set up a product, set up your taxes, set up your shipping, and uh, email address, which email address you're going to use for PayPal, and all of that information. All right, we wish you all the best. We will talk with you soon. Thanks.